So let's look at structure of the data. So it's a data frame that has 400 observations with four variables. One of the variables is admit. It takes values like 0 and 1. It means that whether or not the student who applied to this university was admitted. If the value is 0, it means that the student was not admitted and when the value is 1 it means the student was admitted. So this decision is based on three other variables. One of them is GRE. So this is a GRE score. Also what GPA these students had at their schools. So first student has a GPA of 3.61 but then GPAs also may vary based on what kind of school they are coming from. So schools are ranked from 1 to 4 so 1 is the best level and 4 is the worst. One important thing that we need to remember when we are using neural network is that each variable needs to be converted in certain way so that the values are between 0 and 1. And to achieve that what we do is we do normalization. So I am going to retain admit as it is. We know that admit is a categorical variable but for neural network I am going to retain this as 0 and 1 because this is already in that format which is needed. So minimum is 0 and maximum is 1. So first we do normalization for GRE. So what we do is from GRE value we subtract minimum of GRE and divide this by maximum of GRE. and then minus minimum of GRE. So before running this, uh, if you want to simply look at, let's say histogram of data GRE, you can see values lie between 200 and 800. So by doing this uh, normalization, the values are going to change to a range between 0 and 1. So let's run this and make this histogram again. So now you can see that after running this normalization, the values are in the range from 0 to 1. So minimum is 0, maximum is 1. So we do this for other two variables too, for GPA and also rank. So because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, we can retain this as an integer. Now we have converted uh, remaining three input variables in the range from 0 to 1. For repeatability, we'll make use of seed 2 to 2. So from the original data with 400 observations, we are going to take sample of size 2. So within this IND, the first sample, after comma, nothing, that means all columns. We run this and you can see training data set has 281 observations out of 400 and remaining go to testing. So now the data is ready after partitioning. So we'll develop a neural network using training data set and then we'll make use of testing data set for seeing or assessing performance of that neural network. So we'll make use of library called NeuralNet. Let's create another seed. So we'll store the network in N. So we want to create a model for predicting admit as a function of GRE plus GPA plus rank. 
where data equals training and we also need to specify how many nodes or neurons we should have in hidden layer so let's keep this low so hidden equals simply one another thing that we are going to use will be err dot fct so this is a differentiable function that is used for calculation of the error and we can either make use of sse or ce which stand for sum of squared errors or cross entropy for running this model i'm going to use ce another thing that i want to add is linear output so this is a logical attribute so i'm going to keep linear output as false and then we run this model so once the model is ready we can plot it to see how it looks so this is how this neural network model looks like there are three inputs gre gpa rank so corresponding to these uh, three input variables we have three nodes this layer is called input layer where we provide the input data and towards the end we have what is called as output layer so admit is the output variable so this layer has only one node because there is only one output and then in between input and output layers we have a layer called hidden layer so right now in this hidden layer we have just one node or simply one neuron so one thing you will see that the neural network is completely connected which means that this node here is connected with every other node in the previous layer similarly this node also is connected with every node in the next layer so within the layer they are not connected but they are connected with layer before and layer after so between uh, these two nodes you also see that some weights are estimated and we also have this uh, blue line connected to the node so this is similar to a constant that we see in a regression equation so for prediction we make use of compute and the model we have is called n so let's make use of training data set and then we say blank and then comma means all rows but we want to exclude the first column which, which is admit when we are doing prediction using neural networks make sure that the y variable in this case that is the admit variable that should be excluded that we can do by saying minus one so minus one means first column should not be included let's store this in output Now, if you simply run the output, you will see that it gives you a lot of uh, values here. So, one of them is net dot result. So, this is similar to probability. So, you have all these values stored in output. So, let's look at first few rows using head within the output and we we'll look at net dot result. So, these are like first six uh, predicted values and we can compare this with the training data that we have so within training data we are looking at first row and all columns so this is application number two in the training data you can see that this student was admitted whereas a neural network model says the probability of getting admitted is about 0.37 so in a way this is misclassification So let's see how this calculation is done. So we are going to make use of these weights. The equation will be like this. So 0 0.0455 plus GRE value times the weight plus GPA times the weight plus rank times the weight. So whatever we get that becomes input to this node. So let's do that calculation. So I'm going to use the first GRE value here, copy paste and GPA value which is between 0 and 1 again. So let's store this as an input to we can call input to node 4 and this value is if you simply run only IN4 this value is 1.1 etc so this 1.18 becomes input to this node here 
so we are calling this as node 4 because this is 1 2 3 and this is fourth node this is fifth node so it becomes input the output from that node will be based on a sigmoid function that is used in neural networks and the formula is 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of minus this input value that we have calculated in the previous line and because this is output of node 4 we'll call this as out 4 so 1.18 goes as an input and what we get as output is 0 0.76 so because we are using sigmoid function so this output always lies between 0 and 1 that value becomes output of this node similarly we can find out what will be the input to this node and what will be the output so input to node 5 will be so this constant plus the output that we got from here times this weight So we run this and we get uh, input to node 5 as negative 0.49 and then again we apply the sigmoid function and convert this value between 0 and 1. So we'll call this as out 5 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of negative i n 5. So what we get is 0.3779 so remember this is the value that we got earlier also you may find that uh, after like five or six decimals the values are slightly different here they are not exactly same and that is because of rounding errors but this is how these predicted values are calculated so let's compute uh, confusion matrix and misclassification error so to do that uh, we'll make use of the compute function using network model or neural network model n let's first do this for training so i'm using the same format that we used earlier for prediction let's store this in output and for the first one let predictions be in p1 where we have this output and then dollar sign net dot result Because these predictions will be between 0 and 1, similar to probabilities, we need to classify them into 0 or 1. And for that, I'm going to use if else function. So if else, and the rule I'm giving is if p1 is more than 0 0.5, we'll classify that application as 1, that means admitted, otherwise 0. So that means when value is not more than 0 0.5, not more than 50%, then we are saying that that applicant is not admitted to the university we run this line and let's store in tab 1 a table with pred1 and training dollar sign admit so if you look at tab 1 we get this confusion matrix so these are actual and these are predicted so this means actually there were 172 candidates who were not admitted and the model also predicts them to be not admitted. So this is a correct classification. Similarly, there were 26 applicants who were admitted and the model also predicts that they should be admitted. So this is correct classification. But this is a misclassification. 66 applicants were actually admitted, but the model says they should not be admitted and 17 here. So if you want to calculate misclassification error, so first we do sum of, so we can add the diagonals so diag for diagonal in tab 1 and then we divide it by sum of tab 1 so if we do this uh, we get accuracy but if we do 1 minus we get misclassification so misclassification is about 29.5 so about 29.5 percent misclassification error so we do same thing with testing data and we'll call this as p2 this is predict 2 and we'll call this tab 2 so we run all this so this should have been p2 
so we run all this so you can see earlier we had a misclassification of 29.5 percent based on training data and testing data is 29.4 percent so very close so there is some amount of consistency so this neural network performs more or less consistently with training as well as testing data so this we did with the very simple network so now let's go back and try to do something more so for example we had only one hidden layer how about having five nodes in the hidden layer or five neurons in the hidden layer so i'm going to run from here let's plot the network so this middle layer is a hidden layer so input layer is still three we have three nodes there and our output variable is just admit so only one node but one two three four five and this is a completely connected network so you can see that this node is connected with all the nodes in the hidden layer so this node here is connected with all the nodes in the previous layer as well as all the nodes in the next layer but these nodes are not connected with themselves but still they are called completely connected network and you can also see estimate of all the weights in the neural network this network uh, converged after more than 18000 steps and the error was 132.5 so with this if we go to the confusion matrix for training and testing so you can see now misclassification is only 25.6% earlier it was 29.5 percent so a drop of almost four percent in misclassification so that's a very significant improvement similarly if you run the testing you can see it is about 23.5 percent so still very consistent instead of just uh, one layer we can also use c and say we want two hidden layers and the first layer with the two neurons and next one with three neurons so we can run this it may take slightly more time so it gives some warning message that it did not really converge completely it did not converge weights are not calculated so let me try it to one so now i don't get any warning message that means looks like things are fine so now if you want to look at the plot so now you can see you have input layer and output layer and in between we have two hidden layers first hidden layer has two neurons or two nodes and second one has one node so this is what we had specified two and one let's see what is the performance for training and testing so this is slightly worse compared to the earlier one now we have misclassification error of 27.7 in testing and let's see training 26.6 so this is still better than having just one neuron in a hidden layer that we started with and that gave us an error of 29.5 but uh, this is not better than what we got earlier with just one hidden layer so i'm going to stick with the hidden layer as 5 that we had here you can also include something called life sign which is a string specifying how much the function will print during calculation of neural network it could be none minimal or full so i'm going to use full to see every output that is feasible another thing we can do is rep so what is rep this is the number of repetitions for neural networks training so when we run this model we run only once but it can be repeated many times and sometimes uh, may not be the first one maybe third one is a better one let's try rep equals 5 while building the model it will be repeated 5 times i'm going to clean this up and for repeatability i'll start from here so we get a warning that not all of them are conversed so those ones that converged there you get estimate of the error so this fifth one did converge and the error was about 145.6 and fourth one also conversed with the error of slightly higher 147 third one also converged in fact with the lower error 139 so third one looks better so far 
but second one did not converge you don't see any error here so second one is no good and first one converged with the error of 132 out of five repetitions four of them had solution only one did not have any solution and in fact it also gives you time like this one took about 3.34 seconds this one took about 2.37 seconds to converge and find a solution and so on 1.73 so best among these is in fact first one with 132.5 as an error so when we run many repetitions so out of uh, four valid neural networks that we have if you want to print one of them so we can specify here rep equals one if you want the first network if you want the fifth one you can say rep equals five so let's plot this so this is the network that gave us error of 132.5 and these are the weights so now for this one if you want to do the calculation for confusion matrix and misclassification error when we do this compute function we have to specify that we want rep equals one if that's what we are interested in if we are interested in the fifth network then we can say five but because first one has given us minimum error we are going to use that so with that if we run all the lines we are getting misclassification error of about 25.6 percent for training data and same thing here will give us 23.5 now we can also specify which algorithm we want so neural network uses uh, several algorithms so this is a string containing the algorithm type to calculate neural network so default is rp rop plus resilient back propagation with weight backtracking so this is a default and uh, you can specify any other algorithm you are interested in another thing that can be specified is uh, step max so this is the maximum steps for training of neural networks so default is uh, 100000 uh, most of the times you'll see that the algorithm converges much before that in fact here we have 18,339. Most of the times we may have to play with some of the parameters like how many neurons, how many layers and so on to find the optimal model.